Okay, in this question we'll look at a probability example. Suppose we have three events, probability of A, B, and C are one half, one half, and one third. So we have three events, A, B, C, and those are the probabilities. We're also given some more information here. The probability of A union B is equal to three over four, okay? We're told that the probability of A intersection C is one sixth, and the probability of B intersection C is one sixth. And also we are told that the probability of A intersection B intersection C is one twelfth. Determine whether or not the events A and B are independent, okay? And then calculate the probability of A union B union C. Okay, so let us begin here by looking at what we have. So the, the key thing we actually will start with is A intersection, sorry, A union B is probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. Okay, so what have we got to work with? Well, we actually, we know that this is 3 over 4, A union B, and we know that the probability of A plus the probability of B is equal to a half, and plus a half, okay? And that leaves us with the probability of A intersection B, okay? So if you were to rework that, you'd sort of see very quickly that the probability of A intersection B is equal to one quarter, okay? Now, the key thing is here, yeah, I have it done out there. So that's that expression there, or that, that calculation there, just in a slightly different format or different configuration, but I find it to be one quarter. So what the second thing is that if A and B are independent, A intersection B will be equal to probability of A times the probability of B. And indeed, that's actually what I get. One half times one half is equal to one quarter. So A and B are independent of each other according to that rule. Okay, now what I'm going to do is sort of look at the second part here. I'll just go up, down here and set up myself a very large Venn diagram. Okay, so I'm going to have the probability of A here, the probability of B here, and let's go the probability of C here. Okay, now essentially we don't need to go the whole way through this. Essentially, we're given a couple of key pieces of information here. So this is the first one we will use. The probability of A union B is three quarters. So let's look at what that would look like down here. This is A, this is B, and I'm just about to shade this in here. Okay. So is that shaded in area there? Okay. But that leaves us with this area here. I'm going to call this area one. Okay. Uh, one is just this little sort of section here. It's the, it's the bit that is in C only, but not in A and B. Okay. Now it is joined by, in C, it's joined by these parts here. That's A intersection C and this part here B intersection C okay so I'm just going to number those as well one sorry two three and four okay so what we have to do is find out what the area of one is okay that's essentially what we do so the probability of C is the area that corresponds to area one plus the area that corresponds to two, plus the area that corresponds to three, plus the area that corresponds to four, okay? And that is equal to one third, okay? That we know. Now, probability of A intersection C is two 
plus 3 and that is equal to 1 sixth okay we know that 3 the probability of a intersection B intersection C which in our diagram just above there is the area 3 that is equal to 1 12th okay so what what does that help uh, just one more probability of A sorry B intersection C is equal to areas 3 and 4 and that is equal to one sixth also. So what does that mean? That area four must equal to one over 12 also, okay? So what have we got? Uh, what we need to do is find out area of one, okay? Sorry, what this also means here is that two is also equal to 1 over 12 okay so altogether the probability of C is 1 plus 1 over 12 plus 1 over 12 and 1 over 12 okay so essentially that essentially means that and that is equal to one third so it won't take you long to realize that what corresponds to one the area that corresponds to one is also one over twelve okay so those are four equal equal it's four areas with equal probability anyway so what does that leave us the probability of a Union B, Union C is essentially equal to 3 over 4 plus 1 over 12. Okay, and that actually would equal to 9, that would actually equal to 9 over 12 plus 1 over 12, which is 10 over 12, or in other words, 5 over 6. Okay, so um, this approach here is probably the best way to sort of go about this this Venn diagram approach. Now it's a little bit of an unorthodox thing to actually just number, uh, give these areas identifiers like one, two, three, four, uh, but I think actually it makes a very clear, really very easy graphical approach, and it's also easy to follow and it's also easy to demonstrate your work. Okay, the thing is just to circle them, just to sort of identify them as actually I should circle them there. Use a big, big page when you're doing this in the exam situation, just to circle them, just to sort of say the the two corresponds to this area here, that sort of thing. Uh, okay, we'll leave it there. So it's five over six.